Hey, welcome back to uh, the work grind. I hope you guys all had a um, a good holiday weekend and got to spend time with your friends and with your family um, and got to you know take some time to reflect on uh, and appreciate what we have and the freedoms that we have here in the United States uh, with it being um, Memorial Day uh, weekend. Um, but you know today's clubhouse call was a little light. Uh, we talked about a couple of just various topics, uh, but the one, you know, was just brought up about goals and, you know, how do you go about um, looking at your goals? How often do you check in on, uh, you know, are you on track, ahead of schedule, behind? Uh, and for me, this is something I've been working on and, and, you know, obviously we have our big, you know, yearly goal. But one thing that I've been working on personally is uh, breaking down my goals into quarters and really focusing on the priorities that uh, I need to be putting in place into my business to help me hit my overall goal. And, um, you know, I'm thinking after today's conversation that I really need to even break it down into monthly and then into weekly. And this is something that I do, you know, with agents on helping them with their business, whether it's phone calls, right? Like, okay, we have a monthly goal of calls, but what's the quarter, you know, what's the weekly and then what's the daily? And, and you know, we probably need to be doing that with our own goals of where we're looking to hit. And and for me, I think a weekend or a week reset, you know, whether it's a Sunday, whether it's a Monday morning, whatever the case may be. But actually taking that time to see um, how did I do this past week? Uh, what were some of the things that I put in place for my goals? What were some of the things that I didn't get done? that I needed to get done for my goals. And um, I think personally for me, that is a lot of uh, figuring out priorities, right? Letting some things go. Maybe I need to refocus uh, on some of my priorities over here versus where I have been spending it. Uh, but for me right now, based off of my goal, I have a, a yearly goal and then I'm looking at uh, two to three priorities each quarter that are in alignment with that overall goal. And what I found um, of doing this so far this year, as we go into the last month of the second quarter, is I think I personally do best if I focus on two priorities per quarter. Um, and at the end of the day, that may not seem a lot like a lot to to you, but at the end of the day, um, you know that is that is eight opportunities or eight things that I'm adding to my business every single year. And the goal isn't to necessarily have them 100% dialed in, you know, perfected, whatever the case may be. But the idea is to have those priorities or those things, those items or those, those key hires in place to where moving forward, all we have to do is tweak it, right? Where we fail a lot of times is we say we need to get this one thing done and we only work on it for an hour here and then an hour next week and then three hours and then we forget about it for two weeks and then we come back to it and do it for two hours and we forget about it and we come back you know for an hour and uh you know the whole idea with focusing on the priorities for each quarter is to actually put legit time into those two or three things um that will allow you to get those in place get those established and then moving forward you only have to do tweaks um, so, you know, if you think about it to a quarter over the course of a year, eight, I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a ton. Um, so I think for me, I got to, you know, stick with that. I think I also personally have to break it down into the month and then break it down into the week and start doing some weekly uh, reset meetings with myself, you know, on a Sunday or a Monday morning. Um, to get those done and out of the way. So um, I hope that helps. I would love to hear kind of what's working for you guys um, with your with your goals and, and how you go about them, how you track them, um, how you measure them. Um, I would love to hear from those uh, from you guys in the comments.